What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today, of course, I went back to GameStop, picked up some more packs, because they still have their clearance going, like the sell, where, uh, basically, uh, for what I've seen, Cybernet Horizon are on clearance, as well as Shadows and Valhalla. Um, I went on ahead and picked up basically what they had left of, uh, Cybernet Horizon. I mean, I waited a week first, and then I did it. So, <laughs> it was fair enough, right? They said they were actually gonna get probably more in stock, at least at the one I go to, which, again, some GameStops have cards, some don't, just check near you, not sponsored, just saying to check out for the sale. And also, some people were questioning because the price is the same, even though it says clearance. Well, everything at GameStop that has a clearance tag is half price. So, it's actually half, it's like $2 a pack, basically. Except for Savage Strike. I just went ahead and picked up more of those because we had such good luck last time. Those are regular price. Yeah, let's see what we can get, basically, but... Yeah, let's just uh, try to get some good cards. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe get some danger cards, because Cybernet Horizon does still have a lot of useful cards. And with Savage Strike, again, I had good luck last time, so I was... I don't know. <laughs> Since I got, you know, three Seeker Rares last time, I'm thinking that more than likely they're all going to be super. Like, I got the only good packs last time, but we'll see. Test that theory. Well, starting off, we actually start with an Ultra Rare, uh, Realm of Danger. I'll take that. Not bad. That's a pretty good start, I guess. Crusadia. Yeah, don't mind picking up some Crusadias either during this because they're getting a little bit of hype now because of Guard Dragons and everything too. Yeah, I thought I'd keep them in like the, the cardboard and all that so you guys can actually see the clearance sticker. That looks cooler for the thumbnail, so <laughs> I'll admit it. Contact Gate. A couple of Dragoonities actually, and... We got Verticular Drum Gun. Okay, you didn't fool me that time. I knew it wasn't going to be a Boral Sword. You get one of those, that'd be awesome. Uh, then also Demise. Not today. I did not fall for that. Yeah, basically with the dangers being in everything lately in the meta, those are always good to pick up from this. And of course, like I said, Boral Sword. It hasn't been reprinted yet. I'm hoping that they reprint soon just because the card's getting more and more expensive for people. So, uh, let's we'll see if we can get one first, though, right? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. And Hippo Shingen. Okay. <laughs> I thought so, too. I'm not falling for it anymore. You can't get me. Still a good super rare, though. One of the better super rares, I feel like. It's just a good Link Monster. I'll probably go back and get some of the Shadows in Valhalla as well. I feel like I'm getting a bunch of Ash Blossoms from those now, too, since it's going to get reprinted in the structure deck. I wonder. <laughs> That's how that works, I'm telling you. After a big card gets like a reprint, that's much easier to get for some reason. You know, out of uh, older packs. Don't know why. And we have a Crusadia Maximus. Again, not bad. Don't mind picking up some Crusadias. Oh, actually, I can I have enough room now to do this. There. So you guys can see the hollows. There we are. I wish Savage Strike was part of this cell. <laughs> I would have picked up all those. Even if I do have weird luck with the, the secret rares I get from that set. Demise. And, well, okay, we got a secret rare. I'll take that. Uh, that is Celestial Observatory. Actually, pretty interesting card these days. I've seen a lot of people start using this in um, in different ritual decks like uh, Cyber Angels, and it works like Herald and stuff too. So it's actually a pretty decent card now because of all the support we have. I think Chalice Slime is even uh, a level 6, if I'm not mistaken. So not bad. That's actually a pretty useful secret for us. Not one of the crazy ones, but I'll definitely take it. Go ahead and get a sleeve for that. It is a secret here. It deserves a sleeve. I'll definitely take that. I still have... I think I got at least like a play set of those from when I did my case opening. But anything I can use with rituals, you know, I'm a fan of. <laughs> that doesn't stop me. There we go. I can get the cards out. Crusadia, Dragoonity, and another Seeker Rare! Back to back! We got, well, two spell card Seeker Rares too. Uh, Pinpoint Landing. Again, I'll definitely take that. I don't know if anything really uses this card, but back-to-back -back secret rares, fine with me. <laughs> I'm not going to complain on that. That is fine. But uh, there we go. And it ritual as well. <laughs> That's pretty awesome still. Man, why couldn't it be like, you know, Danger Bigfoot and Danger Nessie? Like that, right? <laughs> uh, I got those. I remember the sneak preview, though. I had good luck, so. But ever since the pack came out, not so much. Getting the Danger cards. A 
least we proved that we can get a couple of secret rares. Makes me feel better about these packs. And we have World Legacy Survivor. Planet Ritual again. Only, what, three packs left. Okay, can we get a danger card? I still love to get, like I said, Bigfoot or Nessie, which we got two secret rares, so it might be a little tougher now, but we'll see. It's not a box, it can be random. Did already better than last time with uh, Cybernetic Rise. I didn't do too well with them in the other opening. And uh, Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Okay, that one got me a little bit, I'll admit. <laughs> Whoa, oh, look at all the Link Monsters. <laughs> That's funny, there were four together, basically. <laughs> Want some Link Monsters? Yeah, I think Cybernetic Horizon is one of those that seems to have the most Link Monsters. It just seems that way when you open it up. There we are. All right. And we have uh, um Umbra Mirage, uh, the Elemental Lord. So the Dark Elemental Lord. Pretty cool looking. Wish those could have done a little bit more, because I was kind of excited to see new Elemental Lords, and I don't remember if I really saw anyone use them. I don't know. Let me know if you have. <laughs> they at least look cool. And now we're down to our last Cybernetic Horizon pack, by the way. So, can we end with a, a Danger card? Let's see. I'll go with that. Can't say you want the Hollow. And it's a ritual. Yep, okay, I thought that's who it was. It is Cyverse Magician. So you know what? We end it with an ultra rare. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. And like I said, I saw a ritual, so I was like, is it? Is it actually him? It, it had to be. So that is awesome. I'm still happy that the main character is actually using rituals and everything now, too. And even one of the incantations, which you can't go wrong with those either. I mean, those are always good to pick up. And I'm hoping maybe the next OTS pack is going to have them as at least hollows, like super rares or, or something. That'd be so cool. And now Savage Strike. I mean, like I said, last time we had good luck with this. <laughs> we got three Seeker Airs out of five packs. So, we'll see. We'll see if I got, like, all the best cards last time. Because it could all be Supers now. I hope not. And, oh, already starting off with an Ultra Rare. Okay. And that's a, that's a good one, too. Uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon. There we go. I actually just ordered one of these, too. So, <laughs> but yeah, I wanted a play set. I'm definitely uh, fine with that, though. That's one of the better uh, Ultra from this set, so definitely take it. I'm not complaining, <laughs> but it's just funny because I just ordered one. And then also uh, Chalice Slime. We were just talking about you. He is level 6, right? Am I right on that? Uh, no, level 7. Okay, I was wrong. But yeah, you can still use it with, like, Heralds and all that, too. I, I have seen it with uh, Cyber Angels and everything. I couldn't remember. For some reason, I thought he was level 6. I keep counting it over and over to make sure. All right. On the TGs. Whoop, focus. There we go. Okay. And uh, next. Not bad. I'll take that. Uh, it's Neo's card, so <laughs> you can't have too many, in my opinion. And Hita. We started off really good, though. Like I said, that Guard Dragon card, I think that's the only one that's really tough to get for Guard Dragons. I think everything else is pretty reasonable, which still surprises me. And we got one of Connector. Uh, Aloof uh, Lupine. I remember a lot of people look for that one. That's like a short print, so that's actually pretty good. And Guard Dragon Pisty. Kind of cool. Oh, wait, did I... Yeah, we got we got a really weird pack. Look at that here. <laughs> we we got Connector, Lupine, and then Cypher's Integrator. And then, oh, <laughs> Connector, Lupine, and Cypher's in Integrator. So that is, that's really interesting. So even though that's a short print, I got two out of a pack. Now, come on, that has to be epic. I, I can't believe that. That was, that's a weird pack. Well, <laughs> that that is crazy. I can't believe that actually happened on that. I hadn't seen, you know, a weird pack like that in a while. Especially getting a short print. We got two short prints in one pack. I think I only got like one of that wolf out of my box even. So it's, it is kind of a tougher card to get. It's almost like two or three hollows in a pack. Sort of. Time Thief. And we got a Seeker Rare. And it's the one I always get. But I don't care. I got a Seeker Rare. So I'll take it. It is uh, the Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie 6, I think. Uh, I, I, always, I, I know I always say it wrong. 
I don't care. It's still awesome. You guys can see the name and I'll take it. I mean, again, I think it's the cheapest secret. It might be whatever. <laughs> it's still a secret out of random pack. I'll take it. So that's pretty cool. I thought we had some though, secret because I kind of see the shine from it. I was thinking, did we? Like I said, I, I'm never going to play my game secret. I don't care. I mean, there's always the certain ones we all want. Don't get me wrong. But that's pretty cool. We've actually gotten quite a few secret out of this opening too, by the way. All right. Only two more packs left. What else can we get? I don't know. I'm actually, some pretty good luck again. Not bad. You like uh, Savage Dragon next, right? And it's a fusion. Yeah, it is a Elotero Brave Neos. I kind of thought that's who it was. I figured it was one of the Neos fusions. And last pack. Okay, what are we going to end with? Can we end with uh, Savage Dragon? Borload Savage Dragon. Let's see. Or just anything cool. I mean, <laughs> Thanos Dragon. Something like that. Let's see. Update Jammer. And, oh, it's a Link Monster. Well, <laughs> you know what? That's close to the one I always end, end with, you know? Uh, we, we got an Ultra, though, so that's cool. It is a Shirinui Skill Saga Supremacy. For a second, I thought it was the other one. The one, I can't remember the name right now. The, the Shirinui, you guys know. It's been like a meme lately. I get that, so many of that card in <laughs> like my boxes and everything. Well, I guess we got the upgraded version of her this time. So that's pretty cool. We ended with an Ultra Rare. I'll definitely take that. No problem with that at all. And, uh, yeah, here's a recap of everything, too. I went ahead and just kind of sorted the rarities, so maybe you guys would enjoy that more. I don't know. Let me know. But, uh, yeah, here's our super rares, and I gotta say, we did really well from those packs. I was able to get quite a few secret rares. Got some pretty good ultra rares, too. I mean, with the guard dragon one, again, that's like the pretty much the main sought-after guard dragon card because it is, I think, the highest rarity one. And then even Cyber's Magician, just a personal favorite, honestly. <laughs> even one of our shared newies, again, somehow, in some form, we gotta get that card. And then, like I said, three secret rares, which, yeah, they're not the crazy secret rares, but I'll definitely take them. And a random packs, sure. I mean, that's honestly better than a box in a lot of ways, uh, you know, getting three instead of two secret rares. So, I'll take that. But yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on future content. And um, yeah, just let me know where the openings you guys like to see. If you have any requests for more random openings like this, is there a specific set you want to see 10 or anything like that? Just let me know. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.